Hi guys, it's me, Shabri, coming to you guys finally with the get ready with me video or my everyday makeup routine. Well, not so much every day, but every day when I want to feel a little more glamorous. So yes, if you guys want to see, stay tuned. So as you see in the first clip, I'm just applying my e.l.f. primer to my face. I love this primer. The formula before this one was actually like a gel or silicone type feel. Their new primer is like a... Um, white cream based type of primer and I absolutely love it. It just gives your face a smooth canvas to work with. Um, it also fills in your pores. It's really good and it's very mattifying. I'm also just filling in my brows with a e.l.f. cream eyeliner in color dark brown. I'm going to take my spoolie and go ahead and just shade out the very front of my brow. I love, love, love doing this stuff. For some reason I just like the way a you can transform your brows for it to like, you know, have that gradient effect from light to dark. I always do it. Cannot skip that step. And I haven't had a wax in over two weeks, so I'm actually just going to go in and clean up with my MAC NW40 Concealer, Studio Finish Concealer with a concealer brush. I'm going to conceal or clean up underneath my brow and also on top. Normally, I wouldn't dare touch the top of my brow with concealing, but because it hasn't, um, or because it has been some time since I had a wax, I want to make sure my brows are extra crisp. So that's what I'm going on top in the bottom. And I'm going to take my finger and just blend out that concealer. I like to use my finger for this step because it warms up the product so it allows it to blend into your skin better than just using a brush. You don't want to have that halo effect um, around your brows anymore, ladies. I'm guilty of doing it in the past, so that's why I want to make sure that, you know, I'm getting it blended in correctly this time. And of course, my favorite step again, I'm just going in and making sure the front of my brows are blended out um, to the best that they can be. And just to get rid of that halo effect even more, I'm actually going to go in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Dark or Dark Deep um, with just a blending brush to set that concealer that way like I said it gets rid of that halo effect and then it also just sets the concealer so it'll stay in place all day and so after this I'm going to do my lashes off camera um the lashes that I'm using today are the so wispy by kiss they were okay I prefer the demi wispy lashes by Ardell but my beauty supply store that I went to didn't have them so I had to get these and I'm going in with my NARS Luminous um, Foundation in the shade Trinidad, I believe it is. I love this foundation. It actually leaves your skin looking very dewy. Um, very good foundation. I really love this. Um, the brush I'm using is a Kabuki brush by Real Techniques. This brush just works very well with this foundation and blending everything out. It actually makes it look, it makes the foundation look like your skin. So I really like these two together. I'm going to take this foundation, um, you know, over my ear, underneath my chin, down my neck a little. That way I don't have like that mask look on where my skin is one shade and my neck is like a little lighter or darker. Um, I like to take it along my neck and under my chin as well and just blend everything out, ladies. Then my favorite step of doing makeup, I'm going in and concealing um, the dark circles under my eye and then also a little highlighting. Same concealer I use for around my brows, MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW40, I believe, or NW45. Um, no, not NW45, I believe it is NW40. But I'm taking that concealer with a concealer brush underneath my eyes, on the very tip of my chin, down the bridge of my nose, in the center of my forehead. And I'm also going to um, highlight along my jawline, right underneath my natural contour line. This is just going to help for my contour that I'll add to pop even more. Uh, when you have light on top, light on bottom, it just helps that shadowy effect and the contour line just sink in a little more so your face can look even slimmer if that makes sense. And so I'm going in with my um, contour color. This is by Ruby Kisses in the duo concealer packets that they have. I'm just using a contour that's maybe two shades darker than my skin tone. And taking that along my natural contour line on my temple and underneath my jaw on both sides. And then from here I'm gonna blend everything out using my Beauty Blender and my NYX Matte 
setting spray, I believe. I'm just using this spray to get my Beauty Blender damp. I'm going to go in and um, basically blend everything out. This is an important step. It'll actually just tie your whole makeup look together. So you want to make sure you're blending really well and you're using the correct tools to do so. So, of course, I didn't do all of the blending on camera here because it would have took too long. I actually take a very long time when I'm blending everything out because, again, I want it to all look seamless like. Um, so, I'm just going in with the fatter part of the beauty blender to blend under my eyes, um, down the bridge of my nose, and then on my chin. And I actually use the bottom of the beauty blender to blend along my contour line. For some reason, it just gives it that airbrush look when you use the um, bottom of the beauty blender for your contour line. It looks almost perfect so I, I really love the beauty blender for this step so yeah just blend 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 ladies and then after everything's blended out you can go in and just set everything um, what I'm going to use to set is actually a Ruby Kisses press powder um, in the same color as that contour cream or contour concealer I used um, also, to set my under eye and my chin and all the other areas, I'm going to use the Sasha Cosmetics um, Setting Powder and Buttercup. I absolutely love this setting powder that you'll see in a few seconds. It is to die for. Like Honestly, it gives my makeup just a satin-like look. It's beautiful. I've gotten so many compliments since I started using this product. Um, I really, really like it. I never tried the... Um, Ben I banana banana powder for the setting powder, so I, I can't really compare the two, but I don't feel like I'm missing anything, especially with using the Sasha Buttercup um, setting powder. It's everything, you guys. And while my face is setting or baking, <laughs> I'm going to go in with just the blush. I'm adding that to the rows of my cheeks and up along my contour line. Um, I just like to apply the blush while everything is setting. It just gives it like a seamless, I don't know, it just... It's something I like to do. And then I'm just going to take off that loose setting powder with my mineralized skin finish and then a Real Techniques brush, just brushing that powder off. That way, if I do take pictures today, I don't have any flashbacks because there's loose yellow powder sitting on my face. So, yeah, just brush all of that off. And then after I brush all of that off, I'm going to go in with um, my e.l.f. brush and then more of that mineralized skin finish and just blend out that blush and contour line and basically just set the rest of my face with this powder. So yeah, here ladies, you'll see I'm just blending everything together. That way you don't have any lines of demarcation on your face and you're basically able to set the foundation that we apply, um, you know, in the first part of the video. And then from here, I'm adding a highlight in the MAC Loose Powder. I believe it's Golden Bronze. Still love this highlighter. I'm actually going to search for a new highlighter. So if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. But this highlighter is still really, really good. I just want to try some new products. And I'm using my NYX Skin Finish again. I'm sorry, my NYX uh, Finishing Spray to just um, set my face. And so that's it for the makeup. Here I'm just taking down my hair. I have a new install, ladies. Um, I'm not sure if I really want to do a video on this just yet. It's actually a frontal that I used. And then I sew, or my the back bundles are actually sewn in. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial on how I did this. I'd be more than happy to do it. I'm just not sure if you want it. But if so, please thumbs up the video. And I'll definitely get out a tutorial on how I install my frontal. And also... Um, more information on this hair that I'm using. Very affordable and it's really good for the price. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I'm just planning my hair from here. I really, really love this frontal. It just adds so much volume to my hair. I don't have to worry about blending or anything. So that's it, ladies. Remember, if you like this video, um, please thumbs up. And if you want to see a tutorial on how I did my hair with this frontal, thumbs up as well and if you have any suggestions on what type of videos to do just leave it in the comments any questions in the comment section also you guys have a great day bye